internet, my name is Hazel from Hazelnutty Games. It's almost Saturday, so welcome to vlog time. This week we had a blog post from Blizzard about uh, World of Warcraft in the new year, and they mentioned a number of different things that they were looking into and considering, or definitely going to add to World of Warcraft, you know, different things with different levels of, uh, levels of happening. And one of the things that they mentioned is something they were considering as a possibility and wanted to get uh, community feedback on was the idea of adding an item to WoW, similar to what Plex or Cred functions as in other games. Basically, you would be able to purchase this item using real money, it's a cash shop item, that can be redeemed for game time on your account, and it can also be traded and sold on the auction house. So basically, what this means is that if this happened, you would be have a very easy and... Uh, you would have a very easy way to sell gold because it's an item that's in high demand. Um, this would also mean that players with a lot of gold and no desire to pay their sub fee anymore would be able to purchase these items using in-game gold and continue and pay their sub fee with WoW currency, which is kind of a neat idea. So I am tentatively in favor of this. The only reason I'm not going full jumping on the train with you know hands waving and excitement is just because it hasn't. We haven't seen it yet. There could be. I don't know, big new things like this always have repercussions that maybe we didn't think of, but like I said, it's worked really well in some other games. I know EVE Online does this, and there's one other one, I can't remember what it is, but um, it's worked well for other games, and I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work well for WoW, so I think that would be interesting. I don't know if I would buy them or sell them. I don't think I would personally buy gold, because gold's not that difficult to... Uh, to generate by yourself in the game. And then I don't know if I would actually pay, buy my... Uh, sub time with gold because you know gold's not 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 so easy to generate in game you know so i don't know i don't know if i would use it myself but i think it's, it'd be a good thing for the game and uh yeah we'll see we'll see how that works out i'd like to hear your thoughts if you have feelings about this so on either end of the spectrum uh, throw them in the comments so i can kind of see what you guys think uh, da, da, da. it is december the 19th 19th my WoW calendar on the wall is going to be out pretty soon. I don't have another one for next year. That's sad. I know I don't. I haven't bought one because I don't need a paper calendar. I have bajillions of devices, all with digital calendars that work perfectly well and all synchronized to remind me of things. I don't need one on the wall that has art that I already have as wallpapers on my computer and devices that act as calendars. But I don't know. I bought it like at the mall at the very beginning of last year. I don't know why I was at the mall. I think I was buying like a Pokemon game or something, and I saw a WoW poster, or a WoW calendar, and I, I don't know. Anyways, what was I saying? It's December 19th, which means it's almost Christmas. We're less than a week out from uh, Christmas, so it's holiday season in general, and that just means I'm going to be marginally busier for, like, a week or two. Um, it, today, for example, today, Friday the 19th, I'm not going to be streaming this afternoon because I have to go, well, I don't have to go, but I'm going to go to uh, my husband's holiday office party thing type thing um and then there's other things like that sort of happening throughout the week so i'll be less active online i will still try to put out videos um not sure what's going to happen with streams next week i probably won't do like a christmas eve or a christmas stream but hey maybe if i'm really bored and lonely it'll happen so we'll see so that's that a very happy winter veil um as it were to all of you very happy holidays for whatever holidays that you celebrate or don't celebrate i just hope you have you know cookies and fun fun um don't forget if you do play warcraft world of warcraft uh don't forget to open your holiday presents in game once those become available i don't remember exactly when it is even if you've done this event over and over again for many years this year they have added um new toy items there are i think three or four different uh prints of cushion toys that are only available through those um presents that you can open so uh yeah don't forget to do that went to that Recently, this week, I have, and I don't really know, I couldn't tell you what sparked it, but I've gotten into playing the auction house. I think I was just, I was on the WoW subreddit, and I had scrolled too far down, and decided instead to look at the sidebar for something else while I related to peruse while waiting for, like, a queue or something, and... And I stumbled into the WoW Economy subreddit, which is not the most active thing in the world, but I stumbled into there and started reading, and then I ended up on, uh... Some different gold, like, legitimate gold-making um, websites and communities and looking through that. And then I decided to get myself set up and and now I'm, like, real deep. <laughs> I'm real deep in the auction house game. And it's, it's really, really, really fun. 
it's not it's got a really high learning curve the knowledge barrier to entry is pretty wallish you you've got to learn a lot of stuff to mostly add-ons there's some add-ons that you have to learn your way around to to get into re- moving really big volumes of items and uh and yeah i think my biggest problem with it so far is it is a, is a scary kind of addicting there's a little Watching watching my auctions and the fact that I can check them on my phone with a mobile app and then just checking them and flipping them and sniping things and oh it's it's too it's a really big rush and I'm having a lot of fun I'm making a good bit of gold for my first week but oh man it's it's almost too much I almost need to back off it a little bit to just to keep a healthy relationship with this game because goodness is that addicting um that was that um the kitty managed to spill. A glass of water for... I have some pretty nice computer speakers. I got a really good deal on them back when I was working in tech. They're uh, uh, Bose Companion 20s and they have a control pod. They have this thing. uh, 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 That thing to control the volume and turn them on and off, which has always been great. But the kitty managed to spill, and it was the first thing that she's ever really spilled, but she managed to spill a whole cup of water all over it. Um, She got the mouse and keyboard too, but those are fine because they're Logitech and indestructible. But the Bose control pod, uh, it, it fried a little bit. The light is the light was off, and then I unplugged it and let it dry out and babied it, and uh, now the light's turned back on. I'm scared to turn off the speakers because if it turns off again, I can't control. I can't use the speakers at all without it. But it works fine now that it's on, so my speakers will be fine so long as I never ever turn them off. <laughs> And I could just replace the part. The speakers are fine. It's just the controller, but it's like 90 bucks. So, you know, I'll get around to that one day. Kitty. I would be mad, but she's really, really cute. She's been super, super cuddly. She started losing her teeth. She started losing her little baby teeth. So th- we've been finding those like in our bed, which is gross. And uh, and they're like wiggling. And then she'll go to like chew on your hand because she wants to chew on things because she's teething. And then she'll, like, stop because it hurts, and then she'll just get a really sad face and, like, bury her paw in you, or bury her face in you, and, uh, sulk, and it's so cute. Kitty. I miss my baby. So, um, yeah. And then in, uh, other news, the channel, the U- my YouTube channel, Hazelnutty Games, has recently surpassed one million total views, which I think is a, uh, a cool little milestone, huh, baby? Oh, no. Hair in your face. You love hair. No, it's not fair. I know, I know, I know. But yeah, we passed a million views. That's very cool. Thank you so much to everybody, all of you, that have watched any of my videos and helped get me there. And I'm really, really excited for whatever's coming next year. I think it's going to be great. We're going to make a lot of videos, try some new stuff, and it's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, as an update on the Game of Thrones thing, I have not started that yet because I have been busy and honestly addicted to watching the auction house, but I will get around to that. I'm not sure if it's going to be this week because of all the holiday things, but I'm gonna do, gonna do my best. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions you'd like answered on a vlog, just leave it as a comment on the most recent vlog and have a very happy holidays and a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Well. Hang on. Bye. Bye. Bye.